Clear of the closing doors, please. Well, don't say I never listen. I asked you guys a while back, did you prefer me starting the vlogs outside? And you said you did. So here I am, we're starting the vlog. It doesn't mean that I can't show you my outfit till later. So I'm on my way to a Revlon event, which is super fun. And the whole campaign um, is called Live Boldly. And I just really liked the sound of it. And even though I really didn't want to get up this morning, I thought it would be worth it. I'm definitely trying to make more of an effort to attend events here in New York and meet people and network. And there's always at least one person I end up chatting to, which is nice. Thank you! I thought I might as well live both late today at 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so I made it to the event. Very cool. Very big production. Lots of fun stuff happening here. I'm going to go check out some of the Revlon products. And then they have like a whole list of like amazing personalities today. I think they have like Ashley Graham. And I'm going to die. They have makeup by Mario. I'm like so excited to see him work his magic in person. But yeah, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> Um, I have the worst job in America because I have to interview Ashley Graham. And I think that it's also really important just to show that women don't all look retouched. Yeah. Women, we all have completely different body shapes. We all have different everything. Why take that away? Why, you know, why make women feel bad when they look at a photo? even prettier in real life, oh my god. I'm so pumped for Mario to come on. There's not a lot of people that I would let do my makeup, but he is 100% on the top of the list. We know the name, maybe as makeup by Mario. So join me in welcoming Mario to stage. Go in your mirror and make sure you have like a tabletop, uh, something, anything like this, and then put your elbow on the table and then apply your liner. It's literally like you. Do you have any tips on how to make your makeup last longer in like summer and like warm, humid weather or like studio lighting, you know, those situations where you feel a bit like clammy and sweaty? As far as with my clients, if I need it to last really long, is I apply makeup in thin layers, very thin layers, and I set it really well, and then I spray it after, so it just kind of locks in and for some Morgan Stearns, but I think it's a little too early for me. Really though, who was I kidding? Hot Cross Road for an iced coffee, La Colombe, one of my faves. The event was amazing. Um, I talked about it a lot on Instagram stories and how I felt afterwards, but if you saw my last vlog in New York, you'll know that I was having a lot of doubts in myself and that chat and everyone that they got on for the event was super inspirational. Also quick shout out to this lipstick because I know you guys are going to ask and I've been getting a lot of messages on stories about it as well. It's the Burberry Very Satisfying Magnetic um, Lip Velvet in the shade Poppy Red. So I'm guessing this is like a classic red for them. Every single lip product, I've tried three lip products from Burberry, a liquid lip, this more classic stick and also the lip contour crayon every single one has been exceptional really comfortable to wear great color payoff so yeah big shout out to Burberry Beauty I feel like they don't get enough props or enough people talking about them so if you're in and around a counter try them out just let me know what you think nothing has changed down in Hudson Yards to loads of building going on but this honeycomb building is coming together it's going to be like a, a market it's going to have loads of market stalls in it all the little lines are pieces of stairs that were all jigsawed together in place like, i hope i'm still in new york when it's finished so i didn't get a chance to show you earlier but this is what i am wearing full h&m look because the tagline of the event was like bold i went bold with my red pants at nine o'clock in the morning so yeah little crappy type h&m dark camo sweater really like it you guys know i i love my h&m and i love these trousers like look at the fit of them they're divine um so yeah that's the look a little bit of red and camo and a bit of a hair tuck vibe with my new mango earrings that are kind of they look like twisted nails i did them quite a lot i'm not forgetting the honorable mention to its second outing my new prada bag 
obsessed with it. Like it looks really, like it just makes everything look more expensive. You know the drill, most of my healthy meals are green, orange and yellow. Good morning, it is Saturday, I feel rejuvenated, I slept all the way through till 1 p.m. Oh my god, I can't remember the last time I did that in New York. So when I do get that much sleep undisturbed, my god, I actually feel like a new woman. I haven't had a really annoying day though. I'm getting ready to meet my friend um, who I haven't seen in a couple of years. She's a friend from art college. I went to art college for a year back home before I moved to go to university in Belfast because I could have done it in Belfast or Cork and I decided to do it back home so she was one of the really good friends I made there and um, she's moved to New York now as well on the J1 I think so I'm gonna go meet her. Although the thing is with me when you make friends with me you're kind of my friend for life like even if we don't talk for years or months I, I'll still like hit you up anytime we're in the same area or like I want to hang out with you and there's no weirdness or anything like that so um, I know it's gonna be a good time. It's freaking beautiful day too um the, it's probably like the best day of the week i'm gonna grab my recycling yes riveting and glamorous as always um and head but first as always i'm going to show you what's on the outfit menu today um v casual kind of a bit of a loungy weekend outfit i guess you could call this uh, my nice kind of thin h&m jumper it's not crazy cold outside i don't think today i don't want to wear too many layers so i've got a t-shirt on i've got this on my asos studio jacket which i've had for a while um and my brush cab bottoms like an elasticated waist but they feel like you know like a nice trousers it's kind of like loungewear without being loungewear and um i just think they look cool so a bit of a boyish outfit today i've um i've neglected this for quite a while now my saint laurent teen crossbody um but it's just such a classic bag i don't think i'll ever get rid of it oh before i go maybe i'll show you guys my closet because i kind of tidied it up i want to show you guys what, typically what i own and yeah for me it's all pretty tidy and like color coordinated again so i'll give you a quick look i have all of my whites then my kind of nudes, my mixed colours, my blacks, and then just kind of random colours all back here, greens, reds, denim going from light to dark as well, and then a few extra jackets and belts in the back. As you go further down, things are a little bit more chaotic, but I have a little kind of um, plastic set of drawers that was always here, and that's like my gym clothes, my t-shirts, like tops that I don't need to hang up. As you come up to the top here, I've got my summer clothes, so you guys know if you watched my um, how to kind of like declutter and do a spring clean of your wardrobe and kind of make room for everything and um, those are those bags there so I'll pop that video in the description below if you guys feel like you need some help and um, I feel like my tips are really good if you want to like minimize kind of what you have and like make sure you're only keeping the good stuff but yeah the summer stuff is up here and then I have all of my knitwear at the moment and kind of loungewear but then on the back of the door, I have some of my most worn handbags at the moment. So my backpacks, all my lovely Aspinal or Aspinal bags, um, my berets, my hats, things like that. I've been collecting a lot more accessories lately. So like having it contained in one wardrobe isn't too bad. Like as soon as it starts overflowing from this, I get a bit like of wardrobe anxiety. Such a nice day. The weather is so nice. It keeps up this temperature for fashion week, it'll be the best winter fashion week ever. Ooh, the last bit. Fried chicken waffles, yes. But also, um, the anonymity here is yeah. my favorite thing. Oh my God, look at these puppies. I am dying. Oh, you're so cute. Hi, hi gorgeous. You're so beautiful. Oh, you gone home for when I was covered in snow? Yeah. yeah. So I'm here with Sophie, my <laughs> friend. I'm so happy to see her. We just had a really nice lunch and a little bit of a walk around Central Park. We're at the Bethesda steps, I think. Um, but we've had a good catch up now. And we're just talking about like the hardships of moving to New York. She's still a newbie. She's only been here for six <laughs> months. I'm just at the south end of uh, Central Park now, which is super nice. All the lanterns are on. It's been a while since I've had like a walk around at night time, so this is quite nice. I'm in the grocery store by the way. I need to pick up ice cream. This is the only reason I'm here, Ben and Jerry's. Oh my God, if they don't have chocolate fudge brownie, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna denounce God altogether. <gasps> right at the back. Oh my God. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I just had a long conversation with a guy that worked here 
trying to put back the Ben and Jerry's chocolate fudge in favor of this Halo Top. I've never tried Halo Top before. I've heard lots of good things, lots of bad things. So I'm attempting the strawberry, but I also have a backup Hagen does chocolate in case it all goes terribly wrong. This almond cashew blend again, because it's very, very good. Back at the apartment now, I'm snuggling up to my cute little floofer replacement that um, Jess got me from Japan. I love it, it's so squishy. And I also just shared a really fun post on Instagram stories about my favorite sort of um, diverse Instagrammers. So basically just, I don't know, showing my support for people that aren't white in the industry, I suppose. I just thought it was really important. Such content creators that are like women of color, you know, black, Asian, hijabi, and a couple of male bloggers too. So that's gone down really, really well. Um, obviously you guys probably won't be able to see it by the time this vlog goes up but make things more inclusive, make things more diverse because I myself forget sometimes to actively follow people that are a bit different because um, I forget myself that I'm half Asian a lot of the time. Hello from my bathroom at the Marriott Central Park. Uh, if you saw last week's vlog, which you should have by now, I am down here with Puma. I've always wanted to stay in one of these hotels lining Central Park. So yeah, I'm here. I'm relaxing. We just got out of the spa. Got a little bit of a massage and I even got my, my nails did a little bit. This is actually one of three nights I'm staying here, which feels like such a treat. Feels like a total staycation in New York. So I brought a few bits with me. I ain't playing. I'm gonna be enjoying this hotel room tonight. I even brought a mask because my skin has been acting up a little bit. I think I'm on top of it, but I just wanted to make sure for this trip that it was nice and hydrated. Oh, I could nearly fall asleep right here. So good. The book I bought is a new one. I just got it off Amazon. It should be pretty, pretty easy read. It's not, it's not a big book, but um, I'm getting it. Another recommendation from Jess because we're into like, me and Jess are into the, like a lot of the same stuff. Like I don't have a, like a big group of friends here in New York that are, that all hang out together. Like I have a lot of individual friends. And then Jess is sort of my friend that feeds my spiritual side. Like we're both very into like, consciousness and like science and um aliens and ghosts also on the side <laughs> um, but i saw her reading this and i really wanted to give it a shot because i'm very interested in this topic it's called biocentrism how life and consciousness are the keys to understanding the true nature of the universe which is so up my street oh my word what is it about room service that is just so satisfying <laughs> Ah, ah, home sweet home. That was a fabulous, fabulous couple of days. I didn't get to check in with you guys much. Tangent much. Also, I'm breaking it in funny little hives. I think I ate something at dinner last night. Um, the only thing I haven't had before was the mushroom soup. Uh, but I'm back. Mi casa, the fun bit, the unpacking. Well, actually, literally the worst bit of every trip ever. Um, my plan came through for my personal trainer and I gave him my fitness pal and apparently I'm not eating enough, which I really, I kind of had an inkling that I wasn't, but I was just like, I know I'm, I, you know, you don't need to tell this girl to eat more. Like I, I eat till I'm full. I have a pretty good diet of whole foods, but I think because most of what I eat is whole foods, they're, I'm vegetarian a lot of the time. I'm just not getting as many calories as I need in because of the exercise of just walking around that I also do in New York, like the natural cardio I do every day. Basically by summer I want to be, I don't want to lose any weight, I just want to be like more lean and have a bit more muscle mass and basically just not be a blob of flubber. The main reason is just because I need somebody to be answerable to. So it's kind of the ideal situation, it's like I don't have to deal with the person and actually you know I can just fit the I can just fit everything around my own schedule which is which is nice apparently I can get those extra calories wherever I want for now so I'll make some pancakes with the jam that I stole from the hotel I couldn't resist I took all the jam and the marmalade that came with my room service breakfast the other day so stay classy folks Mm. Breakfast lunch is served, I'm being ambitious, but I haven't had breakfast or lunch yet today. I've just spent the last two hours cleaning the apartment and putting everything away, so it's all pretty tidy now. And then I've got my iced coffee too, the usual, the La Colombe draft vanilla latte, which is super good, it's my favorite. 
This is more of an Irish style pancake. I don't know if they do them anywhere else, but it's kind of like a crepe, I guess, like a French crepe. I just prefer them. I don't really like American pancakes that much. I'm sitting down at my lunch and I'm watching one of my favorite YouTube channels of the last like week, I would say. It's a little weird, but like I said, Instagram stories, stick with me a second. Basically, if you know of the show Alone on the History Channel, it's basically a survival show. One of the contestants from that has a YouTube channel. He's called Joe Robinette. I've been obsessed with watching his channel. I've watched nothing else, hardly. I think I've watched maybe two other videos in the last couple of days. And just like I said on stories, it's a cathartic experience. You go along with him. He doesn't talk too much. He doesn't talk too little. He has a great sense of humor. And it's like ASMR. You hear the nature. You hear the leaves. You hear the water gushing. You hear him putting up his camp. You hear his dog following him around. It's like, oh my God. I've just never felt so relaxed watching somebody on YouTube. Yesterday, stayed with a buddy last night, and today, we are at a brand new property. Thank you for tuning into the vlog this week. I do hope you subscribe and stick around, like the video, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, mwah, mwah, mwah.